Hello everyone, thank you for joining today. Thank you, thank you so much. Thanks to uh, Shirley and Carolyn and of course George and the rest of the team. Tabassum, how are you doing? Lisa, how are you? I gotta basically hurry up because I got a class to give like in half an hour. Okay, so just quickly I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump to this topic real quick. The hey hey hey, how are you doing, Lisa? The the power of presence. Okay. So this this title could mean actually anything. But I, what I what I really want to talk about is what does the power of presence actually mean to you? Okay? Okay. What does the power of presence mean to you? <laughs> so to me, what I would say is this. <clears throat> there are a few components that you can actually apply on yourself to create that sort of power of presence. Hey, Ray Garcia, Super Ray in the house. So when we talk about this topic, first we have to look into like how, you know how when you, when you attended different places, different events, or when you jumped in Periscope, there's some sort of atmosphere or there's some sort of relationship between people actually looking at you and, and how they view you. Does that make sense? Or, 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 we, or when, you, when you show up, whether you're teaching, hey, Stephanie, how are you doing? Whether you're teaching, whether you're giving some advice, when you just show up in that place, people notice you without even looking at you. And that notice could be something positive or it could be something negative. I mean, I look at my family, for, for instance. I look at my little my son. I mean, sometimes when I come at home, open the door slowly. I don't even make any noise. And suddenly my little one, dad is home. How did he feel that presence? Does that make sense? How did he feel that I was there even though I didn't say anything? Or when you go to any type of classes and when you show up and people feel that presence of you and that character. And you know why that happens? Because it really goes back to you as a person. So how can you create that powerful presence for people that you love, for people that you want to help? I would say the first thing I create that presence by loving what I love to do or by loving what I want to do in terms of helping others. So that's my passion. I love helping uh, business owners, startups, or how, how they can succeed. <clears throat> and I do that. If, if anybody asks me any question, I'll be there for them. I love that. I love to offer. I love to help. I love to think about other people before myself. It's kind of, you know, uh, uh, unselfish, I think, that I don't take care of myself sometimes because I'm more concerned about <clears throat> you. I want to make sure that you succeed before I succeed. Does that make sense? I mean, it's kind of... In a way, kind of, we can say selfish. Like, you know, a lot of us will say, you know what? I want to be successful in my life. I want to work very hard. I want to achieve something. But yet, we don't think about the other person, how we want to make them very successful. Does that make sense? So, if I want success, I would rather have my, my brother or my sister, somebody else, reach the success first. When I see that, then I can attain it. Does that make sense? Because if I want it <clears throat> for myself, why, do I, why don't I give it to somebody else first? And if I can help them with that, eventually it's going to come back to you anyway. Does that make sense? Okay. But remember the first thing is, the first thing and the most important thing is that you must have uh, the passion and, and love for what you do. And let me give you an example. If you guys know uh, George uh, uh, Carroll, I mean, I've, I've seen him on Facebook a couple of times. A very funny guy. Always about motivational stuff. And every time I see him in Facebook, whether through a video, through a post, I can, I can automatically realize how he was going to react because he has that personality, he has that style. Does that make sense? So he created that for himself and that's how you can do the same thing. But number one, always remember, you have to love what you do first. You must have a passion. Yes, you must have a passion. Then secondly, you have to help somebody else because if you want to be helped, you got to help somebody else too. Does that make sense? And number three, you always have to take action and, and, and be, stay consistent. So, love what you do, help other, keep taking action, staying consistent. This is how you create that presence. I mean, right now, uh, if you can ask anybody in social media or just, you know, type my name on Google or ask anybody who is this guy, you. So, people will give you a lot of information about me. I, I didn't, you know, promote myself. I, didn't, I, I usually don't talk about myself that much, that often. But the fact that the hard work and the consistency of helping others and thinking about them and having the love for them, people are going to automatically talk about you in a positive way. Does that make sense? So that's how you create the presence. But again, you must love what you do. You need to help somebody else. <clears throat> okay, you need to help somebody else. <laughs> yeah, in the comedy, that's, that's me. That's how I talk, right? And, and stay consistent in your track, and eventually that's gonna build up. So anytime you, you're present, whether in front, within, within your family, within your neighborhood, or whether you're teaching somebody, people will feel it, maybe from miles away, that when you show up, oh, I have that positive feeling. And of course, you also have to understand your mindset is so, so important. It is so important that you have to train, you have to shift 
your mindset, not just to be positive. I mean, sometimes you have to be really realistic. I mean, you can't have somebody slap in your face and be like, smiling positive. I mean, you're going to probably react. I don't know. But I'm just saying you got to be realistic. So, but train your mindset because <clears throat> a lot of us, unfortunately, due to bombardment of all the negativity from books and medias and music and whatnot, we are constantly bombarded with negative ideas, negative topics, ne negative this and that. So what happens, automatically you always think of the negative stuff. Does that, yes, surround yourself right, with the positive people. So we never train our mind to look for, uh, to be on a so solution-oriented mindset. So when a problem happens, and instead of saying, what if I do this, I'm going to produce X, Y, Z. Instead of thinking like that, we always say, what if I do X, I'm going to fail. What if I do this, I'm going to be ashamed. Does that make sense? So the, the changing the mindset, mind shift is so powerful, the way you think of uh, and how, how do you view stuff. I mean, it really, it really worked with me. Every time I focus on solution-oriented, being positive, it, 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 it happens. But if I think about the negative, I get stressed out, get sick. Does that make sense? So this is what I want to share with you folks today with the Perry 10K, with all the groups, with all the tag tribes and all these awesome people on Periscope that in order for you to create that presence, be real, be authentic, love what you do, help others, stay consistent, and take actions. Okay? All right. That's it. That's all I wanted to share. And right now, it's almost 6.20 p.m. here on Central Time. I got to go and you know, have somebody to give a class. Thank you so much for all for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Yes, there you go. Be authentic, be real, and help others. Be of service to others. And stay consistent and love what you do. And that's it. That's all you need, that's all you need for you to create that presence, that positive presence. So when people see you, like, yeah, I'm there, ready to listen from this fool, right? Oh, not fool, just some cool guy. <laughs> okay. So... <clears throat> Yeah, you can, like Ray said, you, you gotta surround yourself with the positive people. That's how you're going to. That's how you're going to build yourself. When I was building my business, all I hear is just negative stuff, and I used to feel like depressed sometimes. Like you know, where is everyone? But when you when you spend your time with the positive people, like in this community, they're gonna lift you up and they're gonna help you, and that's what you need to do. Surround yourself with the positive people. Surround yourself with people that are gonna to help you, and that's how you're gonna succeed. But don't forget, I'm gonna repeat this again. Love what you do. Uh, help others, stay consistent, take action, be authentic and be real. I mean, you don't have to be somebody else. And here's another thing. Don't ever, 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 ever freaking look at somebody else and measure your success because of that somebody else always oh, better than me. Or oh, that person makes a lot of money. Or this company, how come they do the same thing? Forget that. The only competition is you. You are, you are your only competitor. Don't think about anybody else. Okay? Think about yourself and stay, you know, focused, you know, Focus on one course until successful, right? Stay focused, and that's it. Ignore all the noise. Ignore everything else. And watch you. I promise you. I promise you. You will notice that your presence is coming up without you even promoting yourself. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. All right, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please enjoy your day. I'm going to give a class on WordPress plugin development. So that's going to be like a, a live workshop. So it might be a little bit boring, but I'm going to broadcast later on. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, folks. Have an awesome day. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Sherathon, Perry, 10K, and Tag Tribe, and all the people. To bust some Ray, uh, Sonia's dad, Kevin. Yes. Stay present. Yeah. Maybe I should buy some present. <laughs> okay. All right, brother. Y'all have a good one. And remember, always smile, man. Always smile. Always laugh. Sometime, you know. Even if you don't make any, 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 any sense, just laugh in the corner, people laugh at you. That's fine. At least you made their day. So I'll have a good one. Take care and peace. Y'all have been. All right. Thank you.